Welcome back students. Now let's start with the next type of reaction of that is alkynes that is oxidation reaction. Octanucleophilic addition reactions we will come back to this concept oxidation. So oxidation is nothing but addition of oxygen isn't it right. So oxidation reaction we can uh, study this under the heading combustion reaction. You can study this under the heading using oxidizing agents like oxidizing agents like KMnO4 right KMnO4 as I've shown you earlier it's going to release out nascent oxygen I can also study oxidation reaction under ozonolysis ozonolysis done yes so let's see the first one suppose if I take the combustion process what is combustion combustion is nothing but heating or burning in the presence of oxygen so combustion reactions are always exothermic reactions isn't it lot amount of heat is generated in this so when I take an alkyne and see right so I'm going to take an alkyne now to this as I said combustion means which occurs in the presence of oxygen it burns in the presence of oxygen always combustion products are carbon dioxide and water whether it is saturated or unsaturated the products formed are always carbon dioxide and water but here as I said the reactions are highly exothermic in nature let's balance this now suppose if I take two three yes so two if I take and this is four now two two is a four hydrogens two and two hydrogens now oxygen is five done suppose if I take now let us see the four here hydrogens two to the four here carbons are four two for this and two for this four oxygens four to the eight plus two ten five to the ten so this is your combustion reactions heating in the presence of oxygen now the suppose if I take the same combustion or if I take the same oxidation reaction we will be studying the second type of oxidation reaction that is oxidation in the presence of KMnO4 or using in the presence of KMnO4 using KMnO4 why am I using KMnO4 KMnO4 is an oxidizing agent this KMnO4 is going to supply or give us the nascent oxygen now this particular KMnO4 reaction I have already shown in alkenes please watch the video now I am again going to take an alkyne as I said this KMnO4 is going to release nascent oxygen which I have taken here now this whole reaction as I said it occurs in the presence of KMnO4 water the first important thing what you should remember here is whenever you are adding oxygen or in the presence of KMnO4 first important thing which is removed is MnO2 from here after that potassium and hydroxide that is potassium hydroxide also is removed from there now what are we going to get Did you see here this one this compound carbon and carbon careful here I am going to add four nascent oxygens those four nascent oxygens are going to break the bond and form bond around this there is one hydrogen here H there is one more hydrogen here H. So, how many oxygens I am adding? I am adding 4, isn't it? So, one oxygen adds here, one more oxygen adds here, then double bond O, third one, this is double bond O, fourth one. So, what is the name of this compound? This acid is called oxalic acid, HCOH, right. So, this oxalic acid further, when I treat it in the presence of acidic medium and came in a 4, that is, I am going to maintain the temperature 70 degrees. When I maintain, what will happen? This carbon dioxide, whatever is there, comes out as a product. So, this is your oxidation with KMnO4. Let's come back and see the next type of reaction. Right. Now, let's see the oxidation reaction of two more examples. That is, one is I have taken two butane and one is propyne. The procedure is the same. So, for oxidation, you require the alkyne which I gave you. Let us write that. After that, we also require an oxidizing agent. What is the role of oxidizing agent? This oxidizing agent is going to uh, give me butane means four carbons. It's going to supply the nascent oxygen. So, I'm taking KMnO4. Here, I've taken propyne. Let me write the example. This is your propyne, isn't it? Triple bond, right? This is three bonds. Now, again, I need KMnO4, okay? But here, you should not write KMnO4 directly like this. Means it is going to supply what? Nascent oxygen. So, this particular reaction or this particular uh, reactant reaction, I can write it as this is your butyne, two butyne plus nascent oxygen. This is how you should write in the presence of KMnO4, correct? Yes, and water. 
this also you're going to take propyne you are going to add nascent oxygen to this in the presence of K1O4 and that is what 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 are eliminated as I told you in the earlier reaction MnO2 is eliminated potassium hydroxide also is eliminated once again MnO2 is removed potassium hydroxide also is removed now this is where the oxygen goes and adds isn't it so here if I take I'm going to take two nascent oxygens here in this case I'm going to take three nascent oxygens how what do you get that this bond breaks up now see here your CH3 is here one oxygen adds to this because only two we added around this single bond one more oxygen adds to this and this is CH3 what is the name of this compound one two three four but so which positions are uh, the same two ketones are there isn't it I name it as two comma three one two three four so two and three two comma three buta diene okay um diene yes ketone or you can write it as di ketone because two ketones are there suppose if i write the same here this one what do i get the compound but here what did i take i have taken propyne isn't it right i am taking three nascent oxygens here now you have to be careful when this breaks up first ch3 is here one nascent oxygen because this bond is broken here this goes and adds to the first carbon then now to this one as i said what what will go out mno2 will go out potassium hydroxide also will go out isn't it yes so did we write this wrong we have written this wrong isn't it that is the reason h i've got extra one two three four this is wrong h so propyne after this oxygen is added one more oxygen adds to this carbon double bond o there is hydrogen so third oxygen comes and adds here now what did i get i've got a compound let us name this this is called two keto one two till here this is one this is second carbon 2 keto how many carbons are there 3 carbons 2 keto propanoic acid 2 keto propanoic acid so this is how the name uh, this one adds um, how, how will I know I'll, uh, which one to add how many nascent oxygens to add simple just break the bond wherever you break the bond you need to add the uh, oxygens on either side isn't it yes so this is your oxidation reaction students let me come back and meet with ozonolysis reactions of alkynes welcome back students to the next type of oxidation reaction that is ozonolysis so when i say ozonolysis it's nothing but addition of ozone molecule now in alkene chapter here i mean in that particular alkene topic i have taught you the mechanism of ozonolysis so please go through the video ozonolysis come you should remember important thing addition of ozone with the mechanism then only you'll be having a clear idea of the products form right here i'm going to write directly write that again i'm going to take an alkyne to this alkyne now see here now i will not write specifically any alkyne i'll show you the general reaction then go back so this hydrogen i'll take out right i'll take out i'll just put an alkyne specifically so let me not write i'll write it in the next step now i'm going to take ozone to this this ozone molecule what does it do right it's going to break oh three molecules isn't it this is going to break this bond first bond and you get one one oxygen adds here second oxygen adds here there is still a bond here this oxygen linked to this now i'm going to reduce this in the presence of zinc and water there is a cleavage of the bond here this one here and you get a product c double bond o c double bond o and this oxygen and this oxygen when this comes out there's a cleavage here isn't it like this this one and this bond and this oxygen is here this comes out as hydrogen peroxide now what is the name of this compound this is called a dicarbonyl compound dicarbonyl compound now let's take one example and then see how can we write this one more with a specific example right now suppose if i take a specific example like propyne let me take propyne and see how should I add this is your propyne to this propyne I'm going to add again oxygen also ozone 
So how does this add? This bond breaks up. First you get CH3. Then your CH, this is there. Yes or no? Right. So let's see 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. This bond is extra 1, 2, 3, 4. So this hydrogen is extra. This should not be here. Now, right. This carbon is here only. One oxygen adds. This carbon is here. One more oxygen adds here. One more oxygen adds here. And this one, this. For this carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds. For this carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds. Right? That means now this has become the fifth bond, isn't it? Now, where will it cleave? Let me see. It's going to cleave. It's, not, it's unstable. So, this is going to cleave here. This also cleaves here. What do I get? I should use one reduction or reducing agent. Zinc and water. Now, just see here. Addition reducing agent is going to add hydrogen. One high water comes out with this as hydrogen peroxide this one and the leftover with the product which I get this is your CH3 your CO is here correct and CHO is here now this further undergoes oxidation reaction it undergoes oxidation and forms two types of products what is this see here Oxid oxidation is nothing but addition of oxygen you get two types of acids here one is Acetic acid, CH3COOH, and one is formic acid. So, this is your product. Acetic acid and formic acid is a product. Suppose if you are going to write the same in the general way. See here, this bond is extra, isn't it, which we have written. So, if I write it in the general way, let me see the general way and show you. Let me take out this page. Yeah. Suppose if I take in the general way, this is a general representation. General representation. Are triple bond see this I am going to add as I said ozone molecule this bond breaks up it's going to add as R carbon fine there is one oxygen linked to this and one more oxygen this carbon R is here this carbon one oxygen here one more oxygen here now let's see the balance see. one two three for this, 1, 2, 3. Isn't it? So, if I write the third one here. Now, this carbon is 1, 2, 3 only. If I join this, let me count this. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, now I'm going to introduce a reducing agent, zinc and water. This water comes out with this because there's a cleavage of the bond here. This way. This water comes out with this as hydrogen peroxide. Now what is left? There is a this there is one group here, there is one group here which I need to write. Let me write that R C double bond O and C R prime. Let me take this as R prime so that it is let us write here only R prime means it's a different alkyl group. C double bond O. This further undergoes oxidation and it breaks up into two equal halves here. This becomes RCOH is one acid, R prime COH is one more acid, right? So this is how it's going to show the oxidation reaction and the ozonolysis process. Thank you for watching students.